Hey everybody, and welcome to How To Videos with Dr. Amy Gates. Today's video is going to focus on understanding correlation between different variables and using StatCrunch to calculate not only the correlation between these variables, but also to calculate a scatter plot, which is a graph that lets you get a visual estimation of the correlation or relationship between any two variables. So let's get started. If we enter StatCrunch through Learning Resources, we can come over here and click on StatCrunch. And again, whatever your access to StatCrunch is, is completely fine. Of course, in this class, we'll enter it through Learning Resources. We'll click on StatCrunch. And we'll come down here and enter StatCrunch through this area. In our version of StatCrunch, we have data sets that are already listed for us inside of the StatCrunch area. But what I'm going to show you in this video can be used for any data that you want to either enter in or open up in StatCrunch. So I'm going to use the female health exam results. I'm going to click on that data set. And that data set loads into StatCrunch. This type of data looks at all females. These numbers represent subject numbers because, again, we're not allowed to use someone's name or social security number. So we just have kind of like ID numbers for each female. We have their age, their height, their weight, the size of their waist, and lots of other interesting information. So let's start out by wondering if there is a strong correlation or a strong relationship between somebody's age and their height. And notice also, and this is important, the age of our subjects here are all relatively adult ages. We do have a 12-year-old here, but if you notice, most of the rest of our ages are adults. So we might begin to suspect that there's not a super strong correlation or relationship between the age and the height, simply because, at least for females, by the time they reach somewhere between 10 and maybe 14 years old, they tend to reach their maximum height. For example, in my case, I don't know that my height has changed since I was 13 years old. So we kind of have an idea here that there might be a minor relationship between someone's age and how tall they are, but it's probably not a significant relationship. So we don't expect the correlation value to be very high here. Now we can use StatCrunch to calculate the correlation. To do that, we click on Stat, we choose Summary Stats, and then we select Correlation. So let's click on that. And in this case, I'm curious about what is the correlation between somebody's age and their height. So I'm going to calculate that. And StatCrunch gives us the answer of 0 0.117 and change. That is a very, very weak correlation, very weak. As a reminder, a correlation is a value that can be any number between minus 1 and plus 1, where 0 means no correlation at all, plus 1 is a very strong correlation, completely correlated, and minus 1 is also a very strong correlation, but going in the opposite direction. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. So 0.117 is actually very close to zero. It's a very weak positive correlation. And as we expected, there's not really a very strong correlation between age and height. Now let's look at a scatter plot to get a better look at this data. If I click on graphics, I can choose to create a scatter plot of any two variables that I wish. In this case, I'm going to build a scatter plot and I'm going to let my x variable or my independent variable be the age. And then I'm going to let my y variable or my dependent variable be the height. And I'm wondering if does age affect a person's height? Does their height continue to change along with their age? So as I get older and older and older, do I get taller and taller and taller? And of course, we know that that does not happen. 
if I had an inverse relationship, as I got older and older and older, I would get shorter and shorter and shorter. Now, if our data included ages that were very old, like in the 80s, 90s, or even hundreds, we might see a slight inverse correlation. Because we do know that at a certain point, people do start to get a little shorter as they age. In addition, if our data contained information about people between the ages of 1 and 10, we might see a fairly strong positive correlation because during those growing years as we age, our height does increase with our age. However, for adults, we don't expect to see, and I'll click create graph here, we don't expect to see very much of a correlation between our age and our height. Once we reach a certain height, somewhere around 13 to, or, or so, it's different for each person, we don't expect that to change too much. And as we can see, our data is scattered all over the place. There's no real linear correlation here. Some people are tall, some people are short, and it really doesn't have much to do with how old they are. For example, some 40-year-olds are maybe 58 inches and change, and then maybe another 40-year-old is like 65 inches or thereabouts, and this 40-year-old is really tall. This person's almost 68 inches. This 60-year-old is nearly 64 inches and so on. So as you can see by this scatter plot, there's very little correlation for adults between age and height. Let's take another example. Let's try to calculate if there is a correlation between somebody's age and how big their waist gets. We know that as we get older and older, sometimes our waist gets a little bit bigger. So let's see if we get a stronger correlation between age and the size of our waist. Let's calculate that. And we can see that StatCrunch is giving us a number here, 0.659 and change. That's almost 0.66 as our R value. That's a pretty strong positive correlation. That's bigger than 0.5, which is considered a strong correlation. And it's getting closer and closer to 1, which is our biggest positive correlation. So this is a strong positive correlation between age and the size of a person's waist. Let's look at the scatter plot. I choose graphics, scatter plot, and in this case, I want to look at someone's age and whether that's affecting the size of their waist. Let's create the graph. And here, we actually start to see a little bit of a linear correlation. As a person's age increases, we can also see that the size of their waist is kind of increasing along with their age. So for younger ages, the waist size is smaller. As people go into middle age, the waist sizes are getting a little bigger. And as they age further, we're seeing even larger waist sizes. There's somewhat of a linear correlation here that we can see. Finally, let's do one more example. Let's see if there's a correlation between Let's see if there's a correlation between somebody's weight and their waist size. We expect to see a really strong correlation between weight and the size of someone's waist. So let's go ahead and calculate that. That's a pretty strong correlation. Here we have 0.92, 1 and change. That's a very high R value. Remember, the highest is 1. So that's a very strong correlation. And when we look at the scatter plot here by choosing graphics and then scatter plot, and again, we want to look at whether our weight is affecting our waist, whether they're increasing or going in the opposite direction, we'll create graph. This is a very, very strong correlation. You can see that these points are very linear. They're traveling up together as someone's weight increases their waist size is also increasing. So as we start from here, these points are getting bigger and bigger, and they're following almost a straight line. This is what it looks like when you have a very strong correlation, and it's positive, between two variables. In this case, we're looking at weight 
versus waist. And as our weight increases, the size of our waist increases along with it. So you can see that if you're at 200 pounds, your waist size is up here, whereas if you're at 100 pounds, your waist size is down here. So these are some really good examples of not only how to calculate correlation using StatCrunch, but also how to calculate the scatter plot and how to see that the scatter plot really does represent the R value or the correlation that you've calculated. Now let's try to find one more good example that actually gives you a negative correlation, meaning as one variable increases, the other variable decreases. And so let's see if we can find something like that. I'm just taking a quick look here to see if this data will help us with that. We've got cholesterol here. We're looking for something that goes up or increases as something else decreases. Sadly, usually as we age, our cholesterol does increase. Our body mass does also increase. Our height doesn't. That's not correlated. We expect our weight to increase with age uh, relatively, our waist size, and so on. So in this grouping, I don't see a good example for an inverse correlation. So for our next how-to video, I will create an example and we'll take a look at that one and how to actually put your own data into StatCrunch. For now, as a quick review, to calculate correlation, you click on Stat, Summary Stats, Correlation, and then you choose whatever two variables you want to calculate the R value for. And when you want to create a scatter plot, you click Graphics and then Scatter Plot and you choose the independent and the dependent variables and create your graph. See you in the next how-to video. Thanks.